I think this life hacker is really cool, and I think I'm actually going to start doing this. It's a way to improve What she's trying to say is that she doesn't usually do our life hackers. She just reads them. Usually, I already think I have life. The life hacker is already kind of involved in my life. Like the email <laughs> one, I kind of use those basics already for my emails. I try to show up on time. Sometimes that doesn't happen, but now I'm getting better at it. And I just show up two hours before I need to be anywhere now. So you show up two hours before you need to be anywhere? No, today I did. I showed up two hours earlier today. Okay. I'm but, usually late to tapings, but I was early today. But I was late because everybody else was already here when I got here. Yeah. Okay, so to improve self-control, give yourself a 10-minute delay. So 10 minutes doesn't seem like that long of a period of time. So if you get a craving for something, a cigarette, food, anything, Give yourself 10 minutes before you can have that object. So but over time, if you keep giving yourself a 10 minute delay, it will be further and further along and you won't have the obligation to eat it anymore or just take a cigarette or anything else. Does that really work? I think honestly it does because if, okay, think about it. Think about if you have a craving for something, okay. then you- Got a craving. Okay. You're like, oh, okay, I really want this. Then you really get distracted this. by something else and hours have gone by or minutes have gone by. Unless if I feel like a 10 minute period is long enough to break the thought process of focusing on that specific break thing. Okay. So, but if after 10 minutes you still want whatever it is and you've given yourself that exact amount of time, then go for it. Um, that's what this article says. And it says that you should just go ahead and give into your craving. So I'm not sure what the next step is. So wait, you give the 10 minute delay. And then if you think about it 10 minutes later, you should give into the craving. Not if you think about it 10 minutes later, but if you haven't stopped thinking about it from the very beginning of 10 minutes. So, okay, so if I spend 10 minutes thinking about, like, I really want a Red Bull. Yes. Then I have to go get one. Just get a sugar-free, zero-calorie Red Bull. And that's then what I drink now. One. Yeah, so, I, what, that's not hurting you. I don't know, I, we need to do an article on energy drinks because I really love energy drinks and I think they're bad for you because of high sugar and high calories. Well, no, I'm not the zero, it's like the zero carb, like zero carb, zero cal Red Bull. It's just vitamin, it's just vitamin B. Yeah, and it's still it's like tastes shocking like your good. system. Like I it's like, vitamin B I, shocking your system. It's like, ah! Yeah. And yeah. you're like, whoo! And folks who don't know, so anybody who's been to one of our media trainings, I've trained a lot of people, almost 3,000 people that I've trained, like they'll tell you, like I'll do two Red Bulls and I'll be like flipping off the wall for the whole training and I'm like, all right, let's go, woo! It's actually a karate class and they teach you how to do flips and things. <laughs> I'll be like off the wall. I'm like off the wall. Like but Janet Jackson. See, it's not Janet. Who sings off the wall? Not Janet Jackson. I don't think that's that bad. Michael Jackson off the wall. Ow! <laughs> okay, so, but with more practice, you can go from 10 minutes and turn it into 20, into 30, and then 60. And your cravings will be gone. And then you won't need it anymore, and you'll break the habit. 